Today, as we scrape the bottom of the barrel, here's what low-class gangs from all over the world look like. You know, very few think about it, but almost every country has its low-class gangsters, and each of them have their own specific subculture and style. Counting down from number 10, France, Rakai. Rakai, as true Frenchmen, possesses a flawless style. They prefer Lacoste, wear Lacoste belt bags, and think of the height of style as pants tucked into socks. They usually get around on scooters, but suburban train stations are their true homes. They often hang out there, hitting on chicks, ganging up on nerds and stealing bags, which surprisingly don't necessarily have to be Lacoste ones. They also like to listen to hip-hop and R&B on their cell phones, drink and idle around. Number 9. USA – White Trash In America, poor white people are often shortly called white trash. This term goes back to the 1820s and allegedly was invented by African Americans to disparage local poor white people. It still continues to be popular in the rural southern United States. People who are considered white trash remind one of old, permanently drunk scouts. Most of them are unemployed and they live in trailer parks. They like to drink beer with other dudes, start fights, tease some naive people, or hustle a house. Number 8. England – Shavs The term shav came from a Romani word shavi, which means a child. Shavs live in poor suburban districts. London traffic is too heavy for them. They usually come from dysfunctional families and live on unemployment benefit. Shavs look like typical thugs – sportswear, shaved head, a cigarette stuck in their teeth, and a plastic glass in their hand. Their activities are also quite typical – deceiving people into partying with their money, raising the alarm in the street, drinking in public places, and chilling out, of course. Number 7. Japan Yankee Yankee are working-class Japanese youngsters. They are not tough guys like the Yakuza, of course, but they are famous for being loud, rude, and refusing to take part in the strict manners of Japanese culture. They also like to squat and listen to Japanese gangster rap while drinking sake. They are really fond of motorcycles as well. You can almost always recognize Yankees from their appearance. They prefer to dye their hair blonde or orange, and love wearing coveralls to emphasize their work background. Number 6. India – Tapuri Tapuri are street thugs from Mumbai. Their motto is, milking a dummy is saint, whatever that means. That's why their main activity is hustling tourists. They have a unique style of speaking Hindi that's basically a mixture of many languages spoken by people in Mumbai. It's even separately called Tapuri language. They like to use a lot of hair gel, wear huge gold chains and teeth, flirt with chicks by whistling after them, and dream of becoming Bollywood stars. The latter, by the way, actively uses their grotesque prototype in movies. Number 5. Spain – Canny It is very easy to spot a southern Spanish thug. They look as if they've just robbed a pawn shop, wearing multiple rings, gold chains, and other accessories. They like to listen to loud music on public transport, always playing club music out loud. They usually wear t-shirts, unzipped jackets, and dark glasses regardless of the weather. If a canny has toned abs, no t-shirt is necessary. He will flaunt it whenever and wherever. Cannies are stoned almost all day and are easygoing when it comes to starting a fight. Number 4. Scotland – Ned Ned is actually a short version for non-educated delinquent. Neds live in the poorer areas of Scottish suburbs. Unlike their English counterparts, these gentlemen are very aggressive, 
and they can drink huge amounts of alcohol with very little effect. Their uniform is a sports suit, a fake Burberry cap, a knife, and a melancholic facial expression. Their activities include humiliating pranks and violence to unsuspecting people. Number 3. Israel – Ours Arsim is a unique phenomenon in thug subculture because they are mostly religious. They often prefer national headwear to the standard baseball cap. The rest is the same. They start fights in public places, drive cheap customized cars, listen to Israeli rap, drink booze, and wear a lot of gold. Their usual go-to area is a pub, where they drink cheap wine or beer and argue with people around. They're also highly disrespectful toward women, always hitting on them and screaming rude comments. Number 2. South Africa – Zef In the past, Zefs were wealthy but uneducated snobs who drove Ford Zephyrs. Then they degraded, but they still try to demonstrate style and wealth. For example, it can be a car customized with fur – quite a combination, right? By the way, the members of the band D and Word are Zefs too. As Yolandi Visser, the vocalist of the group once said, Zef's associated with people who soup their cars up and rock gold. Zef is, you're poor, but you're fancy. You're poor, but you're sexy. You got the style. Number 1. Russia – Gopnik A Russian Gopnik is a small predator of the criminal world. Gopniks also come from the dysfunctional background. They often spend their time squatting in groups and drinking beer. Most of the time, their fashion choice is a fake Adidas tracksuit. They like to talk about unheterosexual preferences with the people around them. Then, depending on the opponent's answers, they either grab some money or show respect. The unique trick of Gopniks is the world famous Russian haunches. Well, I think I need to go take a shower now after reading this. Do you know any other interesting facts about low-class gangs in your country? Tell us in the comment section below. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up, share this video with your friends, and subscribe to our channel if you want to stay on the bright side.